Manuel? Relay instructions. Manuel? Manuel. Yeah, Lynn manuel Miranda. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sophie, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Wally -E for the very first time. I know it's a lot of people's favorite animated movie, so I'm very excited to check it out, to finally watch it with you guys on this channel. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Is it a musical? Out there, full of shine and full of sparkle. I kind of like it. I like this song. Listen, Barnaby. Listen, Barnaby. Who's Barnaby? Oh, is this the Earth? Get out the brilliant teen and dime cigar. Looks kind of dirty. We're gonna find adventure in the evening air. So much pollution. Oh my god. And the song is so cheerful. Like, the contrast is so stark, but I'm vibing with the song. Like, it's a bop. One of those new horse drawn open cars. Is it like set in distant future or what is happening? Like, it looks like it, there's been an apocalypse of some sort. The city looks abandoned and no people. I don't, I don't see any people. Oh god, this is a ghost town. So much pollution. Oh my god. This is Wally. Yep. Hello. But there's no one around. This is suspicious. Are there any people or like other robots? Is he all alone here? This is kind of sad. Oh, okay. At least he's not alone. We know that now. Oh, he was playing the music. A little DJ. How adorable. Oh, they are friends! And he just ate him. Oh my god! Dude, what happened? Piles of waste, just piles and piles and piles. Like, there are skyscrapers made of waste. I mean, I knew the world was garbage, but not to this extent. Is there anyone alive? Too much trash. Working to dig you out, so... Wally is like one of the robots that is supposed to clean up the earth. I guess he was designed to like collect trash because that's what he's literally doing right now. But why is he all alone? What happened? What happened to people? What happened to other robots like him? Why is he the only one left? Aww. Oh, oh my god! I thought it was like a sad moment. He sees his dead relative and he's like, Oh my god, I'm all alone. What am I gonna do? And he just stole his legs. Brutal. Just stealing body parts. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Too much garbage in your face? There's plenty of space out in space. B and L Starliners. Oh. This solution was to turn space into a huge massive landfill. Guys. We can do better than that. I hope we never get to this point. The Axiom, your captain and autopilot chart a course for non-stop entertainment. Wait, these are real people, like actors. I always find it so weird when they put real people into, like, animated movies. Like, somehow it creeps me out. I don't know why. Space is the final frontier! Oh. Waste allocation lord lifter earth cl Lord? Oh, load! <laughs> I was like, Lord? Okay, my lord. Sorry, my lord. <laughs> English is not my first language. I can make stupid mistakes like this. Don't stop it. Oh, this is home. Aw, that's so pretty. You know me, guys. When I see pretty lights, I cannot be stopped. <laughs> oh, my guy. <laughs> That's not what you use it for. Though I guess he doesn't need, like, toasts. He doesn't... He, he do, does he need food? I don't think so. Like, he's a robot. <laughs> he found a spork, and he doesn't know what to do with it. I mean, I get you, my man. Sporks are confusing. Like, wh why? I don't get them. <laughs> his eyes. There is something about his eyes. He just always looks sad. Permanently sad. Aww. He wants love. He must be so lonely. Don't tell me he's all alone in his godforgotten place. Oh, what are we doing? Alert. Ooh, that's a storm. <laughs> he's feeding the cockroach. 
Good lord. This is like the saddest opening sequence I've seen. Well, maybe not the saddest, because nothing can compete with Up. But this is one of the saddest ones, that's for sure. Like, are you kidding me? A robot that is longing for love and, like, companionship? And who's left all alone on Earth collecting waste? That's really sad. Oh god. What is... why? What happened to you? Honestly, me, when I accidentally fall asleep during the day. Naps are not my thing. Like, the whole concept of taking a nap. Guys, how do you do it? I wake up and it's like I'm in a different reality. Ah! Oh, so he works on solar energy. Okay. <gasps> Did you just kill your best friend? Oh, okay. He's okay. <sighs> But oh, it was a close one. Yeah, roaches, they're nasty like that. You cannot kill one that easily. A diamond ring? <laughs> oh, he found a plant. I love how he keeps some stuff. Like, it shows that he has personality. He's not just a robot. Because he keeps stuff that he thinks is interesting. Oh, I love the reflection in his eyes. Oh, oh, don't be a cat. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, where is it coming from, though? Space? No, he is just like a cat. Let's play with him, though. And where is it leading? Ooh. Ooh. No, it is definitely coming from space. It's a giant target, and he's right in the middle of it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, run. Oh, my goodness. Is this a spaceship? What happened? Who controls this thing? And what is it? It, it? it does look like a spaceship. Are we gonna see people? Oh my god! My dude, that was a solid attempt, but not a very successful one. Oh, it's like a scanner. Is... is this a different robot? Looks like a different robot. Oh. Now it definitely looks like a robot. Yep. It's like a new generation. Is he fallen in love? Wait, wait. <laughs> That's so quick. But they are playing somber music in the background, which means that he's fallen in love. What's she doing? Like, what is her purpose? What are her functions? So, I'm guessing people survived. Like, whatever happened to Earth, and now they live in space and, like, are sending robots to clean up the Earth, to clean up the mess that they caused. Ooh, we can fly. She's so advanced. I'm not sure if he's scared or impressed. Probably both. She reminds me of Baymax. <laughs> Shoot! Are you for real? No, honestly, I thought people sent her here just to make sure, like, to scan the surface of the earth or something, to test the soil, to see if they can, I don't know, grow vegetables or something. It turns out, like, she's a weapon of mass destruction. Literally. Oh. She'll kill you. Oh. That's the second time he escapes death. Ooh, this is disgusting. Girly! Oh, we are so impulsive. Oh yeah, my favorite romance trope. She tried to kill me and that's when I fell in love. We've all been there, am I right? Dear diary, today I met the love of my life. She tried to kill me a bunch of times, but that's her love language. At least I assume so. To be honest, this is some stalker behavior. And when you speak, angel. Oh my man, don't watch her sleep. Like that's crossing some boundaries. This is so cute. She's like, the heck is that? I'm gonna blast it. What is she looking for? She's clearly looking for something. Oh no, she's stuck. Okay. My girl said, don't mess with me. Hmm. 
right? They made him look so adorable. He's standing there like... So, you did that? Well... I, for one, find it fascinating. Do you want to go on a date? Possibly? Maybe? Oh, he's showing her what his, like, functions are. Name? Wally. <laughs> Wally. Eve. 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 Her name is Eve. Eve. Why are they so cute? Why are two talking robots so cute? <laughs> Girly, he was trying to protect you. I don't think she needs protection, though. But still. Oh, that's so cute. Are you kidding me? Welcome to my house of trash. I separate trash from trash and put some trash here, as opposed to the trash that is left outside. But they're different. This is beautiful trash. The trash that is outside, not so beautiful. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy. <gasps> oh my god. This is such a simple concept, you know? Like them meeting, getting to know each other. But they managed to make it look so adorable. He's showing her his little collection, you know, of special items. That's so funny to me. Solved it. Yep, she solved it. Oh, was she sent here to find people? <laughs> Oh, he's trying to repeat their moves. My girly does not have the moves. Of course we're gonna teach her, of course. Oh, no, 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 that's too much, that's... Oh. Wally. <laughs> Wally is in the Wally. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> he's like, I can fix it. I have some body parts of my dead friends. Yep, new eyes, just like that. He's so self-sufficient. I like I wonder why other Wallies like he's definitely wasn't here on his own, like when he was sent here for the first time. I wonder why he's the only one who managed to stay alive. Like what is different about him? What's different about his programming? <laughs> She's like not impressed. <laughs> Again, I love the reflection in his eyes. When time oh, come on! Oh my dude, I hope they get together. Like, I'm already shipping them, I'm already rooting for them. Ooh. Ooh. He's like, that's my most precious possession. Yeah, she was, she was searching for some forms of life, I guess. Yeah, of course she's gonna take it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Was she like put to sleep? I think she was meant to find some forms of life and now she's gonna send a signal to people like that they can come back. Oh, he thinks she needs charging. Oh. Bro, just stop. That's harassment at this point. Like that's actual harassment. No, honestly, that's like not cool at all. Because he's touching her in very different places while she's asleep, while she's unconscious. That's not the way to go. <laughs> Honey, she's literally unconscious. She. Oh my god, he's trying to grab her hand. Yeah. That's what you get. Karma's a bitch. This is karma. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I remember the times when this was like peak entertainment. And he also abandoned his responsibilities. Like, he was a hard worker before he met her. Okay, take it back. Oh. See? People are coming back. Oh, this is heartbreaking. I mean, he's a little bit of a stalker, but that is still heartbreaking. Ooh. There's a bunch of them. Do they send one to each planet? My boy said I want to travel. And I'll start with space. So, 
let's talk about consumerism. Now, on a serious note, though, this is what can actually happen. Like, if we don't stop mass production of things we don't really need, and, you know, buying stuff that we don't actually need, that might actually happen. We should be careful, man. Recycling. Recycle, guys. I said, look, I found stars. They're beautiful. What the hell? What are these specks of magic floating in the air? Oh. Do they travel to, like, a different galaxy? What's going on? What are we doing? Cosplaying Star Wars? Like, uh, I mean... Okay, so people live on this space station. The space is definitely limited here. I wonder how many people survived and how they managed to live peacefully together. So she's the only one who found some form of life, right? Only her little thing is glowing. Germs. Yuck. Whoa! <laughs> He said, try me. Okay, a silly question. Where are all the people? Wait. Oh no. I don't know. Something. Did they like forget how to walk? Do all people look like that? But over here. Can't tell me the only thing they move is like their fingers. That's what happens when you get lazy. Like I get it, people always try to make life more convenient, you know, more easy. That's kind of normal, but not to this extent. Like you need to go out. You you actually have to move like your body, stay active, drink your water. I don't know, man. That is not healthy. Take the cup. Ah! Oh, so what do you do? Wait, he can't even get up on his own? John. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your home sweet home. These for by and large your very best friend. They raised them to be like this from the very beginning. Why? You can Oh my god, you can have like healthy little children walking around. Instead, you're just teaching them your ways. Honestly, they rely on robots too much like way too much what happens if one day they just decide to shut down you just die oh my, all of them are glued to their screens i didn't know we had a pool like the lady over there was so flabbergasted when she saw like real world why does it look like my high school librarian <laughs> And it acts like my high school librarian. Are they gonna slice her open? Imagine. Suddenly it turns into a horror movie. Oh yeah, we're well into the future. And you can see them getting fatter and fatter. Oh my god. Morning. Just a tram? Coffee. Dude, that is insane. They don't have to do anything. Like, what's the point of living then? It's not life, it's just existence. 1230? <laughs> Honestly, it's the one thing I get to do on this ship. Yeah, my guy, that's the problem. Oh, hey, I see the ship's log is showing that today is our 700th anniversary of our five year cruise. 700 years. Our fathers would be proud to know that 700 years later we'd be doing the exact same thing oh they God. were doing. That's what you call progress? But life would be so boring. I mean, I get it, it's convenient, but so goddamn boring. Brooklyn has returned positive. Yeah, she positive? found a plant. Also, her name is Eve for a reason. No probes ever come back positive before. There is a first for everything. Your extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator has returned from Earth with a confirmed specimen. I, I don't know, man. That is creepy. Like, they put a real man into this ad. It's not an ad, it's like an educational video or something. But you get what I'm saying, like, why? Go back home. Home? We're going back? It's not their home, though. I think this spaceship, like the Axiom, is their home. It's been like 700 years. They don't remember Earth. You and your passengers may have suffered some 
Slight bone loss. Slight? But they can't walk. See you back home real soon. See you back home? Honey, you're dead. You've been dead for like centuries at this point. Manuel? Relay instructions. Manuel? Manuel. Yeah. Lin Manuel. Miranda. <laughs> Colombia! Me encanto! Me encanto! Plant, right, right. W where is it? Oh, damn. Yeah, where is it? False alarm. False alarm. Probe must be defective. She's not. He. Hello. Wally. He's so friendly. He's like, I simply just want to make friends. Have uh, Wally cleaned. Honestly, it's weird that none of them freak out when they see Wally. Like, they've never seen him before. To be fair, though, the only thing they see. It's basically their screens, so... Earth, the surface of the world as distinct from the sky or sea. Wow. Wow. The fine sea. Oh my god, he's learning. Education, guys. Whoa. Just a trance, just a trance. Uh -huh. You look gorgeous. Oh my god, a makeover. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a severed head. Girl is pulling a Marie Antoinette. <laughs> caused an accident. Oh, they're angry. <laughs> Where are we taking him? Caution. Rogue robots. Ah! Oh, you just made her upset, my guy. We're in a lot of trouble. Caution. Rogue robots. Wally. You made her public enemy number one. <laughs> She's like, Wally, what the heck, you creepy stalker? If you just let me do my thing, you know? Rogue robots. He's like, look, that's us. That's our first family picture. She's like, yeah, let's hang it on a Wally. I just keep doing it. Yeah, just kidding. Bam. My man, that's obsession. That's unhealthy. That's like really toxic. Stop. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. But stop. We're like in the middle of something here. <gasps> she wants to send him back without her. Directive. Oh yeah, she has a different purpose, my man. He said, I'm not going then. My directive is to be with you. Are they gonna send him? <gasps> what are you doing, you little freak? Why, why, why? Wait, he stole, he stole the plan and he... Wants to send it back. See robots. Mm, that's what I told you guys. They let them unsupervised. They let them evolve. Now take a look at what the result is. Twenty seconds to self-destruct. Self-destruct? No. Eight. Let's evacuate. Yes, yes, take that. Yes. She cares about him. He's having too much fun. Dude, it's open space. Put it back. Man, you're getting too comfortable here. And she's fine with it. She's vibing with it. Okay. I'm not saying anything, guys. I will let them do their thing. But I'm not sure if that's like attraction from her. I think she was just grateful that he saved a plant. Like, that's her directive. Music is so magical, though. Like the score is so whimsical. I know that guy. It's uh, uh, Wally. That's what are the chances Wally. that the only two people that met Wally just happened to be together? Your buddy John, hey. <gasps> Insta love. I'm not sure why this movie promotes insta love so much, but everybody's falling in love at first sight. It never happened to me. Like I, genuinely, I don't even know people who happen to fall in love at first sight. I swear to God, it only happens in movies. Define hold down. <laughs> oh my hold God. Down. A social <laughs> gathering at which one- He's having so much fun. Read in a dictionary. And they grow food like pizza. Good night, Captain. See, robots, they want human to stay brain dead. 
I'm telling you, there is like a conspiracy behind all of that. I know that. I didn't know we had a pool. <laughs> no splashing, no diving. Look at them. <laughs> no splashing. That was a bit aggressive, but okay. Go on. I'm not gonna spoil their like first real moment. See, dude, she's not having it. She's on a mission, can you freaking calm down? Here it is! Yeah! H how did you find it? She's just... I don't know, smart. We can go back home! What's it like now? Oh! No, 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 don't, don't, don't tell me. I want to see for myself. I'm not sure if you want to. <laughs> <gasps> of course. Oh, He's like, I can glue it back. Let's just glue it back. Security camera? Ah. Uh, oh yeah, the good old times. He was touching me in all of different places while I was unconscious. Yeah, so many wonderful memories. Guys, that's a joke, okay? That's a joke. I know he was trying to save her. He was trying to wake her up. I know that. But it's a little bit disturbing. Still. Pathetic. He said pathetic. Not pathetic, but a little cuckoo in the hat. Just a little bit. Just need someone to look after you, that's all. That's me. That's my mission. I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna save them all. I'm gonna be the hero of this story. I am Captain Sausage Toast. Otto, he found the plant. Fire up the hollow detector. Not necessary, Captain. Oh, that, okay, that's, that's the villain. That's the villain of the story. Otto, get out of my way. We cannot go home. What are you talking that's about? That's the crazy AI, yep. Just cut it off, will you? Got some bad news. Okay, give me all the dirty laundry. Wouldn't you know, rising toxicity levels have made life unsustainable on Earth. Yeah, no shit. Rather than try and fix this problem, it'll no. just be easier for everyone to remain Easier. In space. Easy. That's yeah, yeah, it's more convenient, more comfortable, like that. No, man, like, yeah, there are hardships in this world, you need to overcome them. Look at this plant, it's living proof he was wrong. Irrelevant, Captain. Okay, for a smart AI, he's not that smart. <laughs> it's completely relevant. Out there is our home, home auto. Also, again, getting back to the point that. It's not their home. Like, I'm not sure why he's so riled up. Like, it's his home, like Axiom, the spaceship. He was born here. He's not 700 years old or whatever. Why does he want to go back so bad? I don't want to survive. I want to live. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was powerful. Eve, arrest him. She said, put it in my belly. No! Wally? Wally's going to save it. Yes! Yeah. Run, just just run. Oh no, he's killing him! Oh. What did you do? Wally. Caution. Activating airlock disposal. Again, so much garbage. Just thrown into space. Oh, that's a big mama Wally. There's something so satisfying, you know, watching them stack these piles of garbage together. I'm not sure why. Let's go, let's go. I love how he literally saved them. Well, that was convenient. But convenience is literally like the theme, the, the topic of this movie. Ooh, we're still alive. Oh, adorable. Oh, he needs to charge. He needs solar power. Don't tell me he's gonna die. Oh, honey, no. Oh, honey, no, no, no. I did not sign up for this. Still trying to make friends. Dude. Stop this. No, actually, stop this. She said, I want you. She said, I don't give a fuck about Earth, about all these people, I just want to be with you. So selfless. He said, sorry, DJing is my job. That is my bread and butter. Rogue robots. The plant! <laughs> oh, he said, I have a manual. I have Lin-Manuel on my side. The plant? You want it? Come and get it, Blinky. No. Oh. You bought it? You idiots! Captain... Captain... Captain Jack Sparrow, actually. 
He used it to his advantage. <laughs> We're going home, baby. Even though that's not our home, but that's okay. Remain calm. Remain calm. How do they reproduce? They can't even move without robots. Do you think they... Oh, I just pictured something very, very nasty. And I... Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> they look like uh, this, like thumb man from Spy Kids. You know what I'm talking about. God, get ready to have some kids. <laughs> He's like, not like that. That's too fast, lady. Take me out on a date first. <laughs> Yo, you're evil. Though to be fair, he's just following orders. Wally is a real one. He's a freaking survivor, by the way. Oh no 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 God, we're gonna stand on our two feet. Yeah. Monumental. A moment for history books. You are relieved of duty. Menyo! Lynn Miranda, let's go! We're going to Earth. Uh, oh, he does not look good. Wally! Oh, Six, no, 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 five, no. Oh, no. We need to survive Three, this. Come on. Two. I'm telling you, that's Star Wars. The Return of the Jedi, baby. Are you freaking kidding me, the roach? Still alive? But who's been feeding him Twinkies? Honestly, that doesn't look promising. Like, I don't know how this movie is gonna end. But they can't live here. Mmm, fresh air. Is there anything she can do? Just let it work. Yes! Charging! Not the hand. Not the hand. Hello. Does he not remember her? Oh, he's damaged. Dude, he lost all of his memory. It's wiped off. Oh, this is heartbreaking. There is nothing behind those eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got goosebumps. I'm so sorry. Like, I knew it was gonna happen. But still. What a moment. Oh. He did the eye thingy. Oh my god. This is like the cutest couple. Oh. How the hell? How the hell can plants survive in this environment? I don't know. Yo, that was amazing. That was such a heartwarming ending. Okay, guys, that was my reaction to Wally. -E. Obviously, I loved it, if you can tell. I think it just was such an adorable little movie about, like, a lot of different topics were explored. Like, consumerism is not a joke, you guys. And the fact that it's probable that somehow we can turn into, like, a society like this is scary. It's a scary thought. Yeah, we should take care of our planet. Yeah, that's... If you want to take away something from this movie, that, let it be that. And, of course, the relationship between Eve and Wally. So pure. Like, so cute and adorable. And yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.